Last month, I did a video on a tool developed by a new inventor that lets you set up your blade, angle, and miter gauge to make splayed staves. And since his Indiegogo campaign ends on August 4th, I thought I'd do a follow-up with a modification of the tool because the only issue that I ran into when using it was that the reference face to set the blade angle was just a bit small and on my first attempt I didn't quite get it right which caused some gaps when I went to put the staves together. I got it right on the second try and I'm sure if I did a lot of these projects I'd get better at it and would be able to reliably set the blade angle but I thought I'd try to modify the tool to make it a bit easier. The piece I've added maintains the same plane as the reference face of the jig, but it has a longer contact length with the blade, so it's easier to see when you have the angle set perfectly. And it folds down so that when you're setting the angle of the miter gauge, the functionality is unaffected by the add-on. So the pieces that I cut should come together without any gaps. Let's see if that happens. Nope, failed. Okay, so why didn't this work? Well, let's take another look at the angle setting with the unmodified tool. So the vertical reference face is small and that's what was bothering me and that I corrected for, but the horizontal face is important also because it controls the rotation of the tool against the table. And the one that I made, the add-on that I made, reduced this almost entirely and I wasn't paying attention to that. Uh, so that's what bit me. I had the rotation of the tool on the table set incorrectly and that changes the angle that you transfer to the blade. Okay, so what could I have done differently? This is a better concept for an add-on piece. Uh, initially the form is identical to what I built, but when you're ready to set the blade angle it expands into a cross and that gives you a long reference surface both horizontally and vertically. 
now I wanted to get this video out before the campaign ends, so I didn't have time to build something as intricate as this. Um, and Matt Ainachi, the inventor, has some other ideas for how to improve the functionality anyway. So if you support the Indiegogo campaign, the tool that you receive will have a threaded hole in the angle setting piece that will accept whatever upgrade he designs to address this. He's got a lot of other things on his plate. It works pretty well without this. He can upgrade it later and have that accessory uh, something that you can add on if you supported the initial campaign, which I, I think is, is a really good plan. So if you want to get this tool and support Matt, there's a link in the description to the Indiegogo campaign that ends on August 4th. Now, if you're coming to this video after August 4th, I will have swapped in a link to Matt's website where you can still buy the jig. You just won't get the Indiegogo price. So take a look at it. Thanks for watching.